Good Day Columbus wants to help you reach your fitness goals of this year. And so this morning we are out of the gym and in the kitchen cooking up a dish that will help you stay healthy and happy. Chef Whitney Bray is back and she is teaching us how to make <laughs> Salmon mm. with green pea pesto tortellini. Yes. It sounds delicious. It does. It is very delicious and it's actually very, very simple. Uh -huh. it, okay. It, it, very, simple. it really is. Yes. So we're going to start off here with the tortellini dough. We're going to get you going on the um, the sauce first. Make your own tortellini. Yes, we're going to make our own tortellini. Okay. Yes, it's very simple. This dough is basically egg and flour, a little bit of salt and olive oil. And that's so, it. Yes, okay. that's it. So we're going to roll this out. You're going to put the, uh, the juice in right here what in this pan. This? And this is a mixture of a little bit of white wine, um, grapefruit juice, fresh grapefruit mm. juice, and fresh squeezed orange juice and lemon juice. Okay. And we're going to make a beurre blanc sauce out of that. So get that boil in there, simmer uh, in there. Okay, can you and, handle um, that? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. So what do we do here? Yes, we're going to get this dough going. So we're going to roll this dough out. It's already pre been prepared. And we're just going to um, keep rolling it out until it's about on the thinner setting. So we're just going to keep rolling it. Okay. Does you want me to do that? Or are you good? Yes. Do you have to okay. have this device to make okay. pasta? Um, no, actually, you can actually take a wine bottle mm -hmm. and you can actually just roll the pasta out just like that. I could it's do that. really simple. <laughs> I might be able to use a wine bottle easier. Yes. <laughs> She's got a ton of wine bottles at home. <laughs> So as this is boiling and yes. we're getting our sauce going, our citrus sauce, we can start on the pesto. Nice. So the pesto is going to consist of some peas here, okay? So we're going to get some peas. It's already been blanched. We're just going to pour them right in there. Do you want to come over here? Yes. Yeah. Show me Perfect. exactly what to do. She's Perfect. already... Oh, no problem. Broke. <laughs> she doesn't need Actually, that. Actually, it just comes right off. Okay, Actually, it's supposed to come off, so you just put it okay, right good, back good. in. Yep. And we're going to change the setting. Oh, yep. make it even roll it. Uh, yep. Roll thinner. it thinner. Now, how many peas did you throw in? One this cup, two cups? This is about a cup. Okay. Yep. And then we're going to put about a fourth a cup of uh, parsley. The whole thing? Yep, the whole okay. thing right in there. Just making sure. Yep, we have a fourth cup of breadcrumbs as well. So you're going to actually throw that in here. And we're going to do a fourth a teaspoon of garlic and shallot mince. I minced the shallots and the garlic together. Uh, I pre-do that. And you can put about, yep, yeah, a fourth a teaspoon. Then we also have our Parmesan cheese here. So we're going to do about a fourth a cup of Parmesan cheese as well. Put it all in there. And we do have some lemon juice, okay. and we also have some lemon zest. So this is about a tablespoon, and we have about a fourth teaspoon of lemon zest. Is the zest right. just for appearance, or does it's, this actually no, affect actually, the taste? Yeah, it actually affects the taste. It has a lot of the essential oils in there, so there's a lot of flavor in the zest. Yep. So we're going to actually um, put the lid on here. Okay. Okay. Food processor. Food processor, exactly. Can you use a blender instead, or you, do you need to use a food you, processor? No, you can use a blender, definitely. And we're going to... Ooh, Sorry, there we go. And we're gonna go ahead and press, chop, or grind. Actually, you just have to keep your finger on it. Okay, okay am I chopping ahead. or grinding? Yep. Whichever one. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Yep, and we're gonna put olive oil, about a quarter uh, teaspoon of olive oil on this too. This until it becomes a pesto. All right, yes. So this looks really good, it's nice and thin. And so now we're going to um, take this. Now, how do you know, I mean, how thin should it be when you do this? This should be pretty, um, just, just pretty thin enough to where you can fill it. Okay. Put filling in. Okay. Yes. So we're actually going to take a knife. I have a knife over here. Pardon me. And we're going to uh, cut out some of some squares for our tortellini. So I'm going to show you actually how to fill this up. Okay. Here. Okay. So we actually have our dough right here. We actually have a prepared filling right here. That's that. This is yes, the pesto. This is the pesto. It All looks right. great. I made it. <laughs> and you just want to put about um, a a teaspoon of the pesto right in the center of that tortellini. And so this is better than okay. filling it with cheese if you're trying to make it a little bit healthier. Yes, it is. <laughs> so we have our citrus sauce kind of boiling down here. Now, um, when it, once it's kind of reduced about halfway, we're going to add some butter. Okay. So we add about a tablespoon of this butter here. We're going to grab our knife mm -hmm. and we're going to cut about a uh, cut about a tablespoon of butter. Now, what you want to do is go ahead and put the butter right into the uh, sauce, okay. and you're going to kind of swirl it around. Right. Exactly, and it's going to um, emulsify and thicken. Now, this is butter from uh, grass thick house, so it's 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 high in omega threes, uh, fatty acids. It's actually a healthy butter, and we we all know yes. that um, fat doesn't get us fat. Sugar makes us fat, so a little bit of butter is okay, and it's still healthy. Okay. So okay. now, how do I so, turn this up? So now we um, we're going to get our water here. You're going to take a little bit of the water. Okay. We're going to press it around the sides of the. Um, of the tortellini there. Okay. Perfect. We've got less than 30 seconds. Okay. And you're going to fold it 
and okay. just wrap it around. Hold it and wrap, that's it? Yes, that's it. We're going to get our um, salmon going. Throw the salmon yep, on here. Throw a little bit of salmon. Just pick it up. Is, yep. is, is that okay? I wash yep, my hands afterwards. Yep, that's perfectly fine. And then you just put it right in there. We're going to actually get a nice sear on that. So um, after we get that seared in, yep, perfect. You just I'm going to try this. Water. Okay, you yes, try it actually because very I know. Simple. Yes. I know there's a the finished product yep, right there. finished product right here. <laughs> All right, thanks, you know Whitney. Stuff. To get connected with Whitney Bray <laughs> yes. and learn more about W Catering, just visit our website, myfox28columbus.com.